Hello there and welcome to this, a quick look at the Spaceship Starter Kit. You can grab the Spaceship Starter Kit from the Asset Store, there's a link in the description, and once you've imported the package, you should have something similar to the layout that we've got here. Opening the TWLC folder, you'll find the kit. Your first stop should probably be the Examples folder. This has a number of scenes that show the assets at work. Here we've got the 2D example open, you can see a number of the asteroid objects as well as the spaceships that are laid out, and the projectiles and hit effects that we've got in there as well. When you press play, the particle effects kick in, and you can get a feel for how the overall composition of the scene could be. Moving the camera around also demonstrates just how much parallax you could get, and you could imagine if you're using the pro version of Unity, just how much that depth of field or bloom could add to the scene. In the 3D example, the same things with post effects apply. The other examples just take a look at a possible tabletop game that you could create, and the final ship example demonstrates just the layout of the ships that were used for the screenshots. So, opening a new scene, let's drop one of the ship prefabs in. Expanding the game object, you should find the root. Expanding this again will expose the joints that are within the model. These can be animated in Unity or in the FBX, depending on what you want to do. We found that actually just setting up positions for them and then blending between the positions worked quite well rather than actually having animations, but it would depend on your project. In the prefabs folder you've got some objects that are already set up. The fancy folder contains the spaceships with the physical material attached to them. This includes some additional tweaks from the one that's in the wiki, again in the description below. We've included the standard materials, just as the physical materials may not lay nicely on all platforms. Last thing really to note is just ensure that whatever you're doing with your project, you make sure that the textures are set up for whatever platform that you're targeting. So if you're targeting a small device or you're using the spaceships at a distance, make sure that you bring down the resolution of the textures just to make sure that it keeps your game running nice and sharp. If you've got any questions or queries, leave them in the comments below. We're thinking of expanding this kit over time, so including additional spaceships or effects. Let us know if there's anything that you'd like in particular, then we can look at including those in the future. That's about it. I've been Andrew from That Wonderful Lemonco, and you've been fantastic. Till next time, take care.